If you've watched this video, you've made the uh, made it to the Driven to Compete channel. My name's Sean, and uh, you know I'm back once again uh, behind me here at Classic Auto Mall. And uh, you know if you haven't aren't familiar with these guys or you're not familiar with my channel, I come here quite often. So you know feel free to go back and look at some of the older videos, and it gives you an opportunity to kind of see how the inventory changes here on a routine basis. But I'm back. And uh, you know, it's February, I wanna give you guys an update on some of their inventory. And uh, today I'm gonna look at some of the cars that uh, just catch my eye. I'm not trying to be specific. I'm not trying to like pick out anything in particular. Quite honestly, there's over 600 uh, vehicles for sale here. So I can't begin to show you everything that, that they have, but I can give you a, a glimpse. And that's kind of what this video is gonna do, give you a glimpse of their inventory. And uh, I'm gonna put up uh, their website and, and add information as well. And my buddy Don's a salesperson here, so at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you his personal contact information. So if you're watching the video and uh, you know you're interested in maybe talking to somebody, you're coming out here to look at cars, you can give Don a call, and uh, you guys can uh, you know put a deal together. With that said, I'm gonna to get to it. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit your you know hit, give me a thumbs up. And uh, I love your comments. Uh, you know, as always, uh, thanks for watching. I wanted to shoot this car here. This is a 74 numbers matching Super Duty. Check that out. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here for you and uh, get the details. 74. Trans Am, Super Duty, 72,000 actual miles. They're asking 80,500. And I don't know if you can see that in there, but I'll zoom in here for you. Check it out. It even has the A-Track player. Pretty cool. I wanted to talk about this Bel Air because if you've got kids, you know, um, I've been watching a lot of Cobra Kai with my son and daughter. And, and uh, you know, this looks like something Mr. Miyagi would have had. Um, so I thought it was really cool. It's a beautiful car. Inline six, two speed power glide, turquoise, a turquoise and white interior, 64K. And I'm just gonna shoot the interior for you. It's convertible. And we walk around the back side for you here, to give you a better infer. But, uh, you know, if you like 50s uh, cars, this is definitely what a retro color, what a just great looking car all together. Walking up here, and I'm not sure which one I want to talk about first because I, I just think that uh, there's a group of cars here that are really cool. Let's start with the Land, the Toyota here, the uh, Land Cruiser. What a just a gorgeous vehicle! And I see it is sold, but um, check that out. Um, how cool is that? And uh, wanted to shoot this Cobra here, and uh, this caught my eye because I mean, you see these replicas all over the place but not a lot of them are they tried to make them period correct to to a point where this has a 427 side oiler and uh 14,000 miles on it check the interior out i mean it looks pretty darn close to what it should have looked like or would have looked like and uh i just think that's a great looking car um as well and again 71.5 you know, um, these prices are negotiable if on uh, some of these vehicles. So, you know, that's a cool car worth taking a look at. But here's another personal favorite. This has been a bucket list car of mine for some time. Buick Grand National, um, and it is an 87. And, uh, and that's probably the year I would want if I was looking for one. 29, <laughs> geez, 85K. But look at the mileage. Um, original paint, it is a T-Tops car. Um, if I was going to buy one of these, I probably would look for one that was a non-T-top car because they, of the, the way these things twist and torque when you turn them up. But check that out. Gorgeous car. When I was growing up as a kid, man, I had a poster of one of these in my bedroom. And uh, how cool is that? So I wanted to shoot this car as well. And again, I'm trying to shoot a variety of cars today. But this caught my eye because um, this was actually assembled in somebody's garage. This is a super light coupe. These things are, are fantastic. They weigh next to nothing. And you can put multiple different 
drivetrains in them. Um, they're set up for an LS. This one has an LS in it, HRE wheels. Um, just a crazy car. And the kits are like 70K to uh, minus the drivetrain, wheel and tire package. So literally, you know, you could uh, buy one of these kits if you had, I don't know, <laughs> couple thousand hours of your time you wanted to put into one of these uh, you probably could uh, assemble one of these yourself or you can buy one turnkey you already done they're asking 155.5 let me zoom in there for you so you can see it 6.2 LS3 uh, it's on pump gas and uh, 155 there you have it if you're a Plymouth person I couldn't walk past this car and uh, without shooting it for you this is a Fury convertible. Check it out. Um, the steering wheel. Just everything about these is super cool. The wings on the back. Check that out. How cool is that? Check this out. Street rod. You know. Um, chopped. Nice interior. Leather seats and such. It's a nice car an unusual color scheme so 32 Ford Coupe gold iridescent with blue interior 44k fiberglass body I apologize for the noise here a little bit they're moving cars around but I wanted to shoot this Magnum um, you know because you don't see these there often anymore and this one looks like it's in excellent condition Let's see if I can get the details and uh, 43,000 original miles, we're asking 57.5 for it. It is supercharged with a Magnuson on it as well. But uh, check that out. I, I, I'm telling you, when you see these, they're typically rough uh, anymore. And then, you know, here you have this one. And uh, check that out. Pair of Corvettes here. Swing over. See if you can. So, this is a 427 turbojet car, four speed car, and silver. I'm trying to be careful here as I'm walking around. Um, I don't see side pipes on it. What's it telling you here? Silver Pearl, black interior, 48,724 miles. It is a 427 with a Muncie 4 speed. They're asking 93.5. Okay, and then here you have this yellow butternut yellow uh, convertible. Looks like somebody's done some work to this, obviously. The interior looks like it's been completely replaced. And uh, side pipes on that, rally wheels. Give you a better view on it. And uh, what are the, let's get the details for you. This is a 65, has a 383 stroker in it. It's probably not a numbers matching car, but 73.9. So I wanted to shoot this Chevelle. It's a nice looking car, but this caught my eye right off the bat. Check out that. Tires under this guy. So let's swing around here. 69 Chevelle. 496 three speed automatic 82,000 actual miles Jeff Taylor built 496 I don't know who Jeff Taylor is but I'm sure the internet could give you more details but that is just a gorgeous car if you're into orange it has the aftermarket wheels looks like it's had a brakes work done to it interior looks pretty factory except for that let me zoom in there except for that shifter how about that an attack let's check out these these have a soft spot in my heart chevy 2ss shoe boxes as they're called check out the interior in this one and uh just a gorgeous car looks like one that you could pick it up drive it home and uh take it to the car show the following weekend what are they talking about here numbers 66 got a 383 stroker in it four speed manual 40,000 original 69.9 check it out the paint 
the color is just I can't I can't describe it you, you'd have to see it in person this doesn't do it justice but man what a gorgeous car so this caught my eye when I was walking over I saw Chrysler 300 and I thought, hey it's a pretty special car so I thought I would shoot some video and again these cars are in here there's over 600 under roof in one location and, uh, and they can be tight but uh, let's let's talk about what you're looking at here 56 chrysler 300b 354 hemi three speed automatic check that out mileage unknown 48.9 and uh it's, it's a nice car Look at the interior it does need could use some work you can see the deck panel no there's some some staining and such i mean it is a fairly older vehicle to check it out how cool is that chrysler 300 if you're a mopar fan i couldn't walk away from not shooting this car as well check it out and that is a 68 dart gt convertible 383 car and uh 42.5 the interior Clean. Looks like somebody at some point did an, a, a nice restoration on it. I love the color. It is a convertible. How cool is that? These race cars. I wanted to film these, but this one's really cool. If you're an AMC person, check out this race car. Wide bodied. Ah, <sighs> 366 V8, 485 vintage Penske look-alike race car. Check it out. I don't know what you do with it. Um, but how cool is that? <laughs> I mean, just look at the flaring on the sides. Just, wow. What a cool car. If you're a Buick fan, this is pretty cool. Gorgeous interior. Just pretty car. It says it's a 58 Series 40 Riviera. 364 V8. 55,000 miles, 36K. If you're into these kinds of cars, this is a pretty cool example. Unusual color. They always do something cool in the center of this mall where all the rows come together. And uh, they always put some nice little uh, group of cars together. So I'm gonna spin around just to give you an idea of how some of the cars, and of course, convertible, and uh, another one, two Camaros, very similar. Let's, let's take a moment to talk about this convertible, because of course it says it's a pace car, but there are a number of clones out there. So what I thought I would do is walk over here, and there you can see it's a 69 pace car, Saying it has the uh, broadcast sheet to protect the place, I'm going to assume that this is the real deal. 74.9, 80,000 mileage unknown, but check out the interior. These collect these uh, pace cores were so cool because they did the white and the orange on the outside, which right there's somebody's interpretation of that color scheme that they liked. But let me spin around here. Okay, so let me show you the interior though on these. They had such a cool orange and black houndstooth. And I'm a sucker for these houndstooth interiors on the Camaros. I always thought that they they got uh, a cooler interior than the Pontiacs did uh, of that era. But man, isn't that just cool? And I wanted to shoot this GTO as well. Um, it caught my eye. Blue on blue and blue, but check it out. 389 V8. Has the PHS documentation. I mean, uh, that's a pretty cool car. Interior is clean. You know, that's they, they claim that's the car that started the muscle car revolution right there. How cool is that? And I've always liked the early ones when they were a little smaller body style before they got really kind of big. So that's cool. To me at least. So I wanted to shoot this for, for Chevy and Chevelle guys. This is just a super, super nice car. 
65 Chevelle Malibu SS 396 car, four speed. And uh, it is a factory SS car. It is clean inside. Check that out. So I would have I would have walked past this, but I saw the couple things that caught my eye. First of all, the hood pin. And then these are open to feed air. And uh, I thought, okay, headlights, of course, are different. But then I walked around and check out the brakes on this thing. And I'm like, hmm, okay. So let me start looking at this a little harder. And then I see LT1, uh, second twisted badging. And you look inside, it looks like a fairly plain Jane four door check that out bel air and then you look back here and you see he's got exhaust on it and you see the bag uh brake package on the back and the wheels and uh and i start looking at this even closer and uh i'm realizing there's some work done so let's take a look underneath why not and yeah there you have it look at that um slide around here that is pretty cool 62 Bel Air sedan 383 huh 64,000 original miles it has a LT1 stroker in it Willwood brake package on it Ford 9 inch vintage air and uh, Global West suspension 46 46 so this is one of their sold rooms and I always like showing the these rooms because I want everybody to see that they really do sell vehicles I know I, I see comments I read them all the time where people say oh their prices are too high they're they're crazy they're not selling those cars well they are and you know, each one of them's tagged. You know, they're sold. And this is the room that has a lot of the trucks and stuff in it. And and I just uh, wanted to take a moment here. Uh, the, the, the paint job's pretty cool on this truck. It's good looking. Uh, lowered. Some customization done to it. And, uh, you know, if you're in the trucks, you know, here's, this is kind of cool. And check out that one. Now, this is sold. But, uh, the paint job. And, uh, just the whole way that truck looks. Check that out. It's a hard ton new cover that, uh, I mean, just nice looking. You know, every once in a while they'll stuff something like this in here because they don't know what to do with it. So I can't show you guys everything that's here, but I will give you a quick view of the truck room and they are too deep here. And uh, just to give you an idea, and uh, you, you know, there's a very good chance if you don't see it on video and you go to their website, you're gonna find something you're interested in. I wanted to shoot this as well. Um, if you're a Ford truck guy, this is just, I really, really like this. Looks like it has a one piece tilt front on it. 48 Ford F1 5.3 V8 LS. Ooh, Ford guys are gonna cry about that. But check out the bed, the Coke box, the wheels, the brakes. Just a really nice car, or truck, excuse me, but check that out. I apologize for the noise. They run go golf carts around here every, all the time. So they are a bit noisy when they're backing up. But check out the interior, the seats, uh, air ride. You can see the controller. Let me zoom in here. You can see the controller right there. Um, just what a nice, let me back this up for you here. What is just a nice car. And then this Bronco here. Check out the Bronco. And 69 302 Harbor Blue Respray 302. They're asking 69 for it. I'm not one for black cars, but I do love the Chevy 2 
shoebox. The 67 is my favorite. 327, four speed manual. Red interior is, I think, what's doing it for me. And I'm going to try to slide around here. But, uh, you know, they're asking 63K for it. It's a bit high. But again, these are asking prices. You know, you could always attempt to negotiate if you see something you like. Don't be afraid to make an offer. But man, I, the interior, it, it, it just speaks to me. And uh, I just love these cars. I know Bill Tumas, who is probably the face of CJ Pony Parts. And this is Smoke Show. This is his personal car. Uh, it was a uh, SEMA car. And it was also a uh, drift car and was on competed on the circuit and i wanted to take a moment because this car has a lot of history and a lot of lineage to it check out the interior you can still see from when they drifted with it and bill chose to leave that in there but he did put the brakes back on the car and made a couple changes but here it is it's a 2019 and it is called Smoke Show Gray. That's why they nicknamed it Smoke Show. But check it out. It's got the very best you can bolt onto it from the supercharger. Uh, has a Roush blower package. And, uh, you know, Velgen wheels, the whole deal. 52. And to me, that doesn't seem like a terrible price at all for something that you can say, hey, I own a SEMA, a form of SEMA show car. So here's some information. Classic automobile by the numbers. It's a 50 acre property, 1500 frontage, 30, 336,000 square feet, climate controlled, eight acres under one roof. Check it out. Uh, they currently have over 600 vehicles uh, for sale here. And um, let me flip it over for you. And 